Hey everyone, I would like to read you a book called When Verona the Corona Came to Town. Can you guess what they might be talking about? Verona the Corona kind of sounds like the coronavirus. So this is a kind of a, a cool, a neat little twist on the virus that's been going around. Um, it's a great story, so I'm going to read it to you. And we're going to see how this virus really came about. Verona v. Corona just showed up one day, and it looked like she was here to stay. Her first stop was Wuhan to say ni hao, then off to Italy to yell ciao. Leaving destruction in her path, Verona wanted everyone to feel her wrath. Across the pond and to the states, sparking fear and canceling dates. So if you remember back in March, a lot of things got canceled. We couldn't really go anywhere. We had to just completely stay at home, besides the grocery store. <clears throat> when Verona came to town, everything shut down. If you went outside, there was no one around. Humans stayed home to get Verona to stop. The dogs were so happy, the cats were not. So I personally have a dog, and I thought about that too back in March when we had to stay at home, and I was with my dog all the time. I was like, I bet she loves this, because she doesn't get that much attention normally. Mary Ellen woke up and got ready for school, ready to learn and follow the rules. She put on her shoes and tied her braid. Little did she know it'd be her last day in first grade. So my first graders, if you remember in kindergarten having to leave and you didn't even know that it would be the last time you'd saw your teacher, it was kind of sad, right? Everything was changing and she missed her friends. Mary Ellen just wanted this all to end. Restaurants closed and she had to eat mom's cooking. Those Brussels sprouts are not good looking. Gotta eat your vegetables. Do you like Brussels sprouts? I'm actually not a huge fan of Brussels sprouts. The next day, Mary Ellen had to wear a mask. She had so many questions to ask. Why is the Ver Verona the Corona so mean? Why do we have to keep everything so clean? Six feet apart and signs on every door. Social distancing was the new norm, the new normal. There were a few things that didn't change. Everything just felt so strange. One day, Verona asked Mary Ellen to play. Mary Ellen said, no way. She ran to the sink, scrubbed Verona off. She sang the ABCs twice and escaped that awful cough. So if you know how to sing, the ABC song, you can actually do that when you're washing your hands. If you sing it twice, that means that's a good, a really good hand wash because that's a, about two minutes long. So make sure you're, you're singing while you're washing your hands. And this is them there. And that's her running away. Her teacher was the hero who taught the ABC trick. Verona was vicious, but Mary Ellen was quick. So Verona was vicious, Verona was mean. Vicious means really mean. Mary Ellen thought of her teacher just then, wanting to show off her new toothless grin. But she lost a tooth. She watched her teacher's lessons and had Zooms. We have Google Meets, but some teachers have Zoom. But it just wasn't the same as being in the classroom. She missed hearing her nickname, Smarty Bug, but
but most of all, she missed her bear hugs. I miss my hugs too, but we get to do virtual hugs. Mary Ellen dreamed of all the people she missed. Her sisters and brothers were at the top of the list. She couldn't see, she couldn't see them and her emotions swirled, but they were out saving the world. Her one sister, Sydney, is a nurse, an important hero in our universe. Her other sister, Nancy, runs a grocery store. She is a hero to the core. Both very important people. Her brother, Tom, is a first responder. Could he be more amazing, she began to ponder. Ponder means to think. Her other brother, Jax, was a mailman. Everyone should be his number one fan. Mary Ellen was becoming sad on this dreary day wondering if Verona the Corona would ever go away. Aren't you guys wondering the same thing? But just then, the sun started to come out. Mary Ellen looked up and reversed her pout. So pout is, but she reversed it. The sun is out. She started thinking, maybe it's not all that bad. She was able to spend time with her moms and granddad. She had fun helping her mom make masks for others, even if she missed her sisters and brothers. Mary Ellen learned about pollution and that it was getting a little better. She learned to draw a shark and wrote her best friend a letter. She knew for sure Verona the Corona was bad, but that didn't mean she always had to be sad. Mary Ellen saw a rainbow and ran out to play. She wouldn't let this nasty virus ruin her fun day. She played a new game called Strut, 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 where she kicked Verona's butt, butt, butt. Even when her world was turned upside down, Mary Ellen realized she could always flip her frown. When scary things happen, show extra appreciation to others. Here's a reminder to hug your sisters and brothers. And that is the end and I love this book so much. Also, it reminds us to wash your hands, even when you're at home. I know that we're in this very safe space though because we're not at school, so we're not gonna get each other sick, which is good. But this is just a reminder that even though the virus is out there and it's bad, right, we can still choose to be happy. So that's one reason why I like this book. Good things still come from it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.